Stephen Laurel Boss, known worldwide as DJ Twitch from his time on the Ellen DeGeneres show, is gone too soon at just 40 years old. Stephen was born September 29, 1982, and spent his formative years in Montgomery, Alabama, where he discovered his love for dancing at an early age when he used to watch VHS tapes of Michael Jackson's Bad and Moonwalker on repeat and dance to his heart's content. This was when he was first nicknamed Twitch and the name was perfect as Stephen himself admitted during the 2015 interview that he had trouble sitting still in school because he would rather have been dancing. Although Twitch was passionate about dancing, he didn't realize that his passion could also be his livelihood until as a senior in high school, he was cast in a production of The Wiz. It was the first time he had to learn choreography and through meeting other members of the cast, he was exposed to a world that he hadn't even known existed in the form of dance studios and dance classes. He then began to notice background dancers and music videos and recognized that he could actually make dancing his career. At that point, he knew he had a lot of catching up to do and began his first classical training in college when he studied dance performance at Southern Union State Community College in Alabama and later Chapman University. Then at 20, he began using the name Twitch professionally as he drove from place to place in his hoopty, which he had also named Twitch, teaching dance and auditioning. In 2003, he was booked on competitive shows like Star Search and even became a finalist on MTV's The Wade Robson Project. He also began choreographing routines for artists and even appeared uncredited in movies like Blades of Glory and Hairspray. But his first big break came in 2008 when he was selected to compete in the top 20 for season four of So You Think You Can Dance. He ended up as a runner-up in the show and even had a dance he performed in nominated for an Emmy. His association with So You Think You Can Dance lasted for several seasons as he became an all-star in season seven, eight, and nine, during which he met fellow So You Think You Can Dance contestant, Allison Holker, who would later become his wife. His success on the show also led to more substantial roles in movies like Stomp the Yard, Homecoming, several movies in the Step Up franchise, and Magic Mike XXL. During this time, he also caught the attention of Ellen DeGeneres and made his first appearance on her talk show as a guest DJ in April 2014. That was the start of his role on the show as DJ and co-host. He was even promoted to co-executive producer in 2020 after allegations of the show's toxic work environment became public. In an interview with E! News, Twitch is quoted as saying that his time on The Ellen Show was something that made him feel blessed on a daily basis. It's also a time where he and his wife Allison danced their way into the hearts of millions and shared their love story of meeting on So You Think You Can Dance as early as 2006, but not really connecting until 2010 because of Twitch's inability to read the signals Allison was sending out including a pat on Twitch's bottom during one rehearsal, and even texting him herself when Twitch failed to call her after asking for her number during an after party. Even though he never responded to her text, a few weeks later, Twitch finally made his move by asking Allison if she would be attending the rap party for season seven of So You Think You Can Dance. And although she hadn't planned on going, Allison knew this was the chance she had been waiting for and immediately got dressed to attend the party. When she arrived, she and Twitch were finally on the same wavelength when they locked eyes across the room. Twitch motioned for her to come over and they danced the night away 
and have been together and outwardly happy ever since. After three years of dating, Twitch popped the question during a commercial shoot and they married just six months after that in 2014. The two have millions of followers on Instagram where they share dance routines and fun family times with their three children and just inspire positivity. And even though the Ellen DeGeneres show ended in May of 2022, Twitch's career was still going from strength to strength. In August 22, finishing out his second year as a judge on So You Think You Can Dance, playing the role of dad alongside his wife with the just released TV special, The Hip Hop Nutcracker. The two had also just celebrated their nine year anniversary on Saturday, December 10th, and as recently as Sunday, were posting a workout mashup on their YouTube channel. Which is why it shocked the world on Wednesday, December 14th, when TMZ announced that Twitch was gone from what appeared to be a self-inflicted injury that had occurred the day before at an LA motel. TMZ reported that Allison Holker ran into an LAPD station Tuesday morning frantic because Stephen had left home without his car, something that was not normal. And a short time later, around 11.15 a.m., paramedics received a call for a medical emergency at an L.A. motel where they found Stephen unresponsive and pronounced him on the scene. Further investigation by TMZ resulted in the information that Stephen had checked into an L.A. motel less than one mile from his LA home on Monday morning, carrying only a small bag and booking into the room for just one night. Per the motel staff, he also appeared to be in good spirits and was not visibly upset. But after he missed his checkout on Tuesday morning, employees went to his room where they found him gone in the bathroom from apparent self-inflicted wound. On Wednesday morning, Allison confirmed the sad news with a statement saying, it is with the heaviest heart that she has to share her husband Stephen has left them. Stephen lit up every room he stepped into. He valued family, friends, and community above all else, and leading with love and light was everything to him. He was the backbone of their family, the best husband and father and an inspiration to his fans. To say he left a legacy would be an understatement and his positive impact will continue to be felt. Fans and celebrity friends alike have posted heartfelt messages after hearing the news and Ellen took to Twitter in a post and stated she's heartbroken. Twitch was pure love and light. He was her family and she loves him with all her heart. She will miss him. Sending prayers and love to his family and friends. 